What is up everybody? So this is our eight question series on word problems. These are eight questions you absolutely must know for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Let's get into it. All right, so for this question, we don't actually have to write an algebraic expression. What we have to do is identify what one of the numbers represents. It tells us the following function models the growth of a population of bacteria depending on time t for t greater than zero. What does the 300 represent in the equation? All right, so let's take a look at that equation. It says f of t equals 300 times e to the 1.4t. This is an exponential growth function, guys. We don't need to get into too much detail about that right now, but here's the thing. Even if you were completely confused on what this equation represents and what these numbers represent, here's what you could do. Start with time equals zero and see what happens. If you start with time equals zero, you'll be able to figure out what that 300 represents, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. Let's put in time as zero. So if time is zero, we're gonna have e to the 1.4 times zero, so that's e to the zero, and e to the zero is always just one. So what do we have now? 300 times one, so when time is zero, what is our result? Our result is 300, what does that mean? So that means at the beginning, before any growth happens, what is our population? Our population is 300. Remember, what is this talking about? This function is modeling the growth of a population of bacteria. So when t is zero, Time zero, what is the population? It's 300. So let's take a look at the answer choices. Answer choice A, the number of bacteria after time t has passed. No, that's what the whole function is supposed to give us. So that would be f of t. Answer choice B, the amount of time that passes before the population grows. Again, remember, t represents the amount of time. So that's not gonna work. Answer choice C, the final population of the bacteria. Well, are we at any point figuring out what the final time is? No, so this doesn't work. Answer choice D, a constant describing exponential growth. A constant is just a number, so that's fine. Describing exponential growth, is that constant showing us how the growth is gonna happen? No, that part is gonna be given to us in the exponent. Answer choice E, the initial number of bacteria in the population. Absolutely, at time zero, before any time has passed, that is the initial population of bacteria. So answer choice E is correct. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened in SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like love it. I think yeah. that's the one.